I've got the need, the need for speed. Listening. Let's talk about it. Good mythical morning. Thank you for making us a part of your daily routine and on Thursdays for asking us to give you advice as yes. if somehow you have confidence that uh, oh, our advice will be worth taking. It will be. It is. Question comes from at Link Niels, who asks, how do I learn faster? How do I learn faster? Great question. Uh, interesting Twitter handle. Yeah. Plural version of me. Don't know how I feel you about know. that. It could just be Link Niels. I'm it yeah, could just, just be totally, one out there. Totally different person. I'd like to meet you, Link Niels. Uh, our names are very similar. Mm -hmm. uh, let, there's a trend called speed listening. It's a trend. Um, people people um, set things on 2x speed for podcasts, right. TED Talks, even for college lectures uh -huh. to uh, learn things quicker. Uh, real time is for losing. That's right. So today we are going to test out our speed listening skills as we play once, twice, Three times the listening speed. So according to one study, people speak on average about 105 words per minute, but you can... Unless talk, you're Southern. Right. Like we, we talk probably, a little bit we more slow. We probably speak like 89 yeah, to 70. words per um, minute. But so that's what the average person speaks, 105, but then the average person can comprehend twice that, 210 words per mm -hmm. minute, hence the speed listening trend. And this is what it sounds like when I'm talking twice as fast as I would normally talk, but can you still understand what I'm saying? That was amazing. How do you have that power? Well, I just, I've been practicing quite a bit. I, I understood it perfectly. Yes. But it was done in post. Yes. So that's just full disclosure. We have designed a test, an experiment, if you will, to determine who is the best speed listener. Let's get to it. Round one. Okay, we've moved the desk over to give Rhett room to participate first. That's right, Rhett. Lots of room. You're gonna have to test your speed listening skills first. In this first round, I have created a monologue of direction, which then you have to listen to while so remaining motionless. Yes. And then once my direction is complete, then you have to uh, follow the instructions that I gave you. You have to do what I said do, and then I'm gonna grade you based on a number of points and award a point value, hence the competition. The winner of which gets crowned the speed listening king and gets a speed karaoke track, Woo! which I'm very excited about, so yes. I hope I win it. Rhett, are you ready for me to play your instructions? I guess. Now, uh, just so you know, even though it's 2X and you should be able to understand it, I have taken a little bit of liberty to make it a little bit more interesting mm -hmm. and not so direct in terms of your directions. That's the same thing that I did for you. Okay, <laughs> listen up, 2X speed, here we go. Hit it. There are a lot of famous poses. The discus thrower, the Heisman, rose from the Titanic. Let's combine all three. First, pick up the Frisbee for the discus thrower, not the football for the Heisman. Hold it with your right hand and tuck it under your armpit. Now, of all the directions to throw your left arm out, we could go with up, back, to the side, which is what we're gonna go with, or out front, which we won't be going with. Next, it's time to incorporate Rose. Stand with your legs together and lean forward like you're leaning over the hull of the Titanic. Don't worry, Jack's gotcha. Finally, ears are what ears and your maw can fall, but Rose closed her eyes, so you should do that too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's it. Whoa! <laughs> That really, boy, I wish you could see a brain scan and the speed Just part would be up. really red. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? I think I got most of it. You I think, think I you got, got most, most of, it. of it? I heard that I should take the Frisbee and I should put it under my right arm. I also heard that I should hold out my left hand to the side. I don't know why I'm singing. I'm just excited. <laughs> I didn't instruct that, so that's a negative one uh, point. Hold it out, like up. It was like we're go it was like we're gonna do it up or we're gonna do it out or something. Since you already told me that it wasn't out, I'm gonna go with up, and then I'm supposed to lean over the edge of the Titanic, and then close my eyes like Rose, because that's what she did. This is my pose, the pose of Rose. It kind of looks like I'm making a bad symbol, so I'm gonna do a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, I got my um, my report card here. Now, hold the pose, but you can open your eyes now. So okay. I know that your eyes are closed. I'm gonna give you a check for that. But yep. starting at the top, holding a Frisbee tucked under your right armpit, I'm gonna give you that even though- I'm not holding it? Technically, you missed the Heisman part. But well, it didn't say to stand like Heisman. But holding the Frisbee was the Heisman part. Okay. So, but I'm still gonna give it to you because it's under the right arm. Left arm, you have that up. Wrong, it was supposed to be out to the side. <laughs> oh, well, that's what I did originally. I said, I said you, could go, you could go up, down, out to the side, which we're going with, or no, up, but, which we're not going with. No, but then a second ago, when I held it out to the side, you said, but that's not what I instructed, so that's why I went like this. So you, you, don't, you don't have to give me that point. 
you were singing, he was saying that he didn't instruct you to sing. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, you can take that point away. I, I heard to the side. I thought you told me not to, not to hold my arm out to the side. After like you, the recording was over? Yeah, like you had inadvertently given me a clue. So you can take that away, but I definitely was, this is what I wanted to do right here. This is what my pose was supposed to be. But this is what I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you did, so you yeah, don't yeah, get a yeah. point. Okay, and then legs together, leaning forward, I'm giving that. So I'm giving you three out of four, which is pretty great. And okay. you're trying to throw me under the bus saying I tricked you and you would've got four out of four, but you still get three. Okay. Three points for Rhett. Round two. Okay, Link, I'm gonna do the same thing for you that you did for me. Again, I have some instructions for a pose that you should assume possibly using some of those items behind you, and they are not very straightforward. Are you ready? Ready. Hit it! You're a beautiful, delicate man, Link, but let's add some power to your flower. A cake will make you flabby, but a steak will make you abby. So grab that T-bone and hold it in your teeth zone. Next, you need to add some pounds to your arm mounts. Something feels right about the barbells, but we're getting beefy, so let's use the road less traveled and pick the cowbells. Pick them up and hold them above your head. To be powerful, you need to strike a power stance, so let's take as much space as you can abide and spread them legs extra wide. We wouldn't want you to neglect your gluteus, so bend them knees and stick out your booteus, because a workout ain't squat without a squat. Okay. I know I'm supposed to get a T-bone steak and some dumbbells, but the thing that confused me was Oh my goodness. This is juicy, man. Yeah, um, it's blood, actually. The thing that confused me was, it said take the T-bone steak and put it in my T-zone, which <laughs> is here. Yeah, go with your instincts, man. When I was going through puberty, my mom taught me how to wash my face. She was like, you get a lot of oil in the T-zone. Yeah, right. So you want me to put the steak on my face, which is awesome. Okay. But then I have to hold the dumbbells. It's gonna be tough. I think in both hands I have to hold the dumbbells. I don't know how much. I mean, I mean, there's probably a way to do it. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, and this helps me with the squat. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm. <laughs> this is it. All right, now hold that while I hold that while I evaluate it. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so Link, uh, it was hold that steak in your teeth zone. <laughs> that's oh. Your, <laughs> that's your, your mouth. But you know what? You probably moisturized your but face. Then, but then this. Uh, hold, it was actually cowbells that you're supposed to be holding mm. above your head. What? <laughs> Not dumbbells. <laughs> I didn't even know those were cowbells. I thought, I thought that this was going to be easy, but I miscalculated. Uh, so I'm going to give you no points for holding steak, no points for holding cowbells. Mm -hmm. And uh, your, legs, mm -hmm. your legs are spread right, wide, check, and you are squatting with your butt sticking out. So Link, you get, you don't have to keep doing it. You're, now you're just doing it for yourself. You, I just wanted you to know that I could do it. Yeah, you can, you, yeah, you are capable of doing it, but you got a 50 out of 100, two out of four. T-Zone. Round three. All right, Rhett, now we're ramping up to two and a half speed for my second set of instructions. Totally not physically possible to do? Is well, that it's above the threshold of just normal understanding. Okay. Yes. Again, uh, there's some there's some things to misdirect you. Kind of like cowbell dumbbell. Yeah. I don't know. All right, you ready? Hit it. Rhett, they say that he who smelt it dealt it, but sometimes even if you smelt it, it's hard for him to tell if he's dealt it. So take a seat on the floor to get a little closer to the sink. You're one step closer to sniffing out the stench, but you look a little odd sitting on the floor and we wouldn't want someone to get suspicious. So why not work in a workout? Put your hands where you put the past, behind you that is, and lift your legs in the air like you just don't care. Except you do care because you're a decoder and you're gonna find that odor. It's time to determine if you did indeed smell the deal. So tilt your head down toward your nether regions. They're closer to you now anyway, so it won't look weird. You're just deepening the stretch. Take one sniff and determine that you done did the deed, my friend. But hey, passing gas is just an air mass. So stop its journey up your nostrils by grabbing the clothespin and putting it on your nose. Not the clown nose, that's not where your nose goes. Oh gosh. <laughs> a little faster that time. Okay. I think I've got the whole pose. <laughs> I know there's a clothespin involved. He thinks he has the whole pose. I think I'm supposed to sit on the ground. I think I'm supposed to put my legs in the air. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to. <laughs> that clothespin is doing nothing to impede you smelling anything, put by the way. Put my hands behind my back. <laughs> and then I think I'm supposed to put my head down towards <laughs> my, my nether regions and I'm supposed to smell like I just farted. <laughs> this is my pose. Score me, Link. Sitting on the floor, check. Legs up in the air, check. Arms behind you on the floor. So I don't give you that one. No, that really wrong. like this. Oh, that would be a lot easier. <laughs> oh. Face pointed towards the crotch. You're all over that. Yeah. that I think that's instinctive for you. And. <laughs> Clothes pin on your nose, even though it wasn't fully on your nose. You know what I mean. I think that's just a problem with your nose. So I give you a point. So Rhett, you did a great job. That's four out of five for the Woo! roster. 
Yeah! Spit it up again! Did you actually toot? I have since you've been talking. <coughs> I'll give you an extra point for that. Okay. <laughs> Round four. Well, I gotta say I'm feeling pretty good about myself. If you wanna start speaking to me at double time, just in our regular lives. Sure, I'd be glad to do that. I'm gonna try to speak twice as fast. Like the Micro Machines man. I remember that guy. Okay, Link, you are gonna have an equally complicated pose with a number of steps at 2.5 times normal speed. Are you ready? Not really. <laughs> Hit it! Link, these tests have been stressful, so why don't you take a moment to relax? Let's drown out the outside world. We don't have anything for your ears or nose, but we can help with your eyes. Grab the spa mask and place it firmly over your eyes. You also need to dress for success, relaxation success. A sweater would make you sweatier, but you won't need to disrobe to wear this robe, so grab the robe and put it on over your clothes, not the sweater. What's the most relaxing position? Standing is exhausting, and laying down is relaxing, but you could fall asleep, so sitting is probably better than standing or laying. You should sit in the chair. Now for a special treat. Take your shoes and socks off, lift your feet up high, and call for the foot bath so you can get your toesies all cozy. Okay, I'm ready for some relaxation. Now I'm gonna. All right, I know. So I got a spa mask, which is this, and I'm supposed to be in a chair. And then, uh, okay, so put on the spa mask, uh, get in the chair. Here, hold my phone. Okay. Um, there it is. I'm forgetting what ha what you told me after that. Oh yeah, a robe. Uh, Where's the rope? <laughs> well, you don't, you, I mean, you okay, can, I yeah, can you, can, you can use your eyes. All right, that wasn't part of the instruction. Okay, put on the rope, don't take my clothes off. Nope, don't take your clothes off. But, I gotta take my Bo nose off. <laughs> Shout out to Bo. We know you know, Bo. Bo knows speed listening. Okay, put this over here, product placement. Then this here, this here. And give me that foot bath, 100%. <laughs> okay, I will I will let you know when we are ready. Bring it in. I'm nailing it. Okay. I'm feeling very proud of myself. I think you're gonna have to start speaking to me at 2.5 times speed. Softly insert your feet into the foot bath, Link. Ooh. What the heck? Oh! oh, no! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we got him again! We got him again! <laughs> Man! Uh, you were so proud of yourself. And what's that on the sides? It's Vaseline. They vast it to keep them in there? You gotta vast the sides to keep those roaches in there. I saw one of them crawling on your foot and that was what kind of gave it away, huh? Well, no, it's when I put my foot down on five of them and they scatter. And then one went over the top. And then. I, I went like this, did hey, you see that? Yo, I, I saw that. Oh, man, I'm shaking. Well, let me take a second to grade, grade you there, Link. Face grade mask, me. check, robe, check, sitting, check, shoes off, check, feet and foot bath, Yes. check. Now, you gave me an extra point in the last round for farting while you were talking. I also farted. I'm a little con- I did. Really? I was so scared I farted. I saw the roaches flinch. Um, I feel a little conflicted about that, to be honest with you. I'm not gonna give you an extra point for farting, but I am gonna give you an extra point for putting your feet into a bath of roaches. Yes. So that means we tie, my friend. All right. Well, I think we know who, who the real winner is. These bugs. And you. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Sarah from Carryville, Tennessee. And it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Some studies may one day possibly show that great looking hair, beards, and lips makes you better at speed listening. Well, we got you covered when that day comes. Go to rentley.com slash store for lip balm, beard oil, and pomade. Pomade! Click through the Good Mythical We're gonna listen to this speed karaoke track that we won collectively. Gifticality, that means we are going to give $1,000 to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention to help them in their mission to save lives and bring hope to those affected by suicide. You can join us in giving over at AFSP.org. AFSP.org. Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And click the circular channel icon to subscribe. Thanks for being your mythical best.